One of the things I love about EVEC is, is just the peace and quiet that you get flying through space all by yourself. It's just... Uh, all right, listen, what is that? I'm telling you, Plex, going to the moon. We get. We need to buy now. Buy now, you buy, you buy, you gonna buy, you're gonna buy, you're gonna buy, right? I'm not looking to buy anything. All right, fine. Have it your way, lose out on the money. Just saying, you're gonna miss out. And by the way, you still owe me that expense report for that SFI that you blew up. What? I, no I didn't, I just... Yeah, 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 okay. Sounds disloyal. Sergei no tolerate disloyal. No, sir, don't, no, don't kill anybody. We're, we save that for later. Da. And just put, put it away before you hurt somebody. Da. Whew, you, uh, might want to give that a minute. Not that it was me, it was like that when I got there. That's, that's a closet. Oh. Hmm. Explains funny toilet. Oh my gosh, guys. They're bringing a succubus, a daredevil, and I, I think that's a, I think that's a reaper. Don't worry, I'm getting it all on video though. Can, no, please, just get away from the window. Some, someone's gonna call Concord. Well, duh. I will. Well, I guess today we're throwing away my wonderful, peaceful morning of, you know, blowing stuff up and tea, but instead I guess we'll talk about alts and all the wonderful things that they can do. So uh, let's undock and get started. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Killmark Collectors. I'm Brandon and today, as I mentioned in the intro, we are going to be talking about alts. If you're not familiar, an alt is basically just a secondary character that you can use to enhance your gameplay experience. Now, the key thing here is that as we talk about these alts, there are a couple of considerations to make sure that you're not doing something against the terms of service. The terms of service don't say that you can't use multiple accounts. What they do say is that you can't use automated or scripting techniques to be able to control those accounts. In fact, I think that Netties would probably not mind if you're paying them multiple times, but you just need to keep in mind that if you're using those other accounts, you need to be controlling them manually. So with that being said, let's talk about how we actually do that. So first off, most people are going to be using an emulator. I use Bluestacks. Uh, that's the primary one that I use because I like just how it works on my Mac. Um, I've got an uh, instance of Bluestacks on my desktop and on my laptop, and then I will play with my main account typically on my iPhone or iPad. I do this because Bluestacks doesn't offer the multi-instance manager for uh, Mac at this point. Um, but if you're on Windows, you may be able to get multiple accounts onto uh, your computer depending on what your graphics card and processor uh, is capable of. You can also use Nox, uh, LD Player, uh, Jenny Motion. I think there's a bunch of different ones. Pretty much any Android emulator will be able to run uh, Eve Echoes. So it really doesn't matter which one you pick. It's more of a personal preference. Like I said, I use Bluestacks. This isn't sponsored. That's just what's worked best for me. If anybody knows of a good uh, multi-instance type of emulator for Mac, um, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, like I said, I use Bluestacks, but it's kind of a pain to have to be working on two different computers as I'm playing. When you go to set up your account, you don't want to set a secondary character on the same account. The reason here is that you can't actually log in even from different devices into the same account and play two different characters. To get around this, what you can do is sign up using a different uh, email account. If you have a Facebook, a Twitter, anything like that, you can actually use those different accounts instead of trying to create everything on the same uh, account and just have multiple characters. I think that there are a couple of baseline things that everybody, uh, every alt, every character should have. Now, the most obvious one here is planetary resources. I made almost 400 million last month just from generating and then selling that PI. That obviously gets me a long way towards being able to uh, get at least basic Omega on all of my accounts. Um, with the way Plex prices have been rising, that may or may not still be the case when you see this video, but it's something to be aware of either way. The other two things that I would say, a frigate command bonus, um, at least 5.4, and micro warp drive, at least 5.4. Um, you never know when you're going to need just a little bit faster ship and some of the bonuses that you get, especially for cargo hauling on uh, those frigate ships, 
are really, really useful. And so even if you're not primarily using it as a hauler, being able to you know make a single trip with three alts that each have over 4,000 meters cubed of cargo space can be really, really useful. The planetary uh, resources can be pretty uh, skill points intensive, but if you actually get to 5-4 there, you will be able to get most of those points just from doing the tutorials. I think for joining a corporation, you get 500,000, and that doesn't include all of the beginner catch-ups and all of that other uh, skill point bonuses that you can get. So again, it is really useful to be able to jumpstart uh, your character a little bit and start making that money right away. Now, against my better judgment, I'm going to hand over the microphone to some of these alts and let them explain kind of the skills that they use, whether or not you need chips, whether or not you need Omega, um, and kind of let them just talk through it. So I guess uh, we should just go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off. And first up, we've got Jimmy the Broker. How you guys doing today? I'm Jimmy. I'm the money guy. So the thing that you want to do with me is you want to get your accounting skills up to 554. By doing that, getting some trade, you're going to save a boatload of money. I know that Brandon saves about 200 mil a month just on taxes and broker fees. So what you want to do, get those skills up. Go ahead. You don't need to get a chip because once we get there, we're, we're kind of done with the skills. But you do want to at least get the basic Omega. So as soon as you can, drop that from duo to, to basic and then we're going to be good to go. You don't need to respec unless you just want to. But I think that once you get, you know, kind of to that 554, five, you're doing everything you need to do. You don't need to, to, to look at any other things. Doesn't matter what tech level you are. So just leave it at, at that. You don't need to respect. You're good to go. All right. Let's kick it over to the Russian. Hello. I am Sergey, combat specialist. For Brandon, I make bubbles. Good bubbles and bad bubbles. Either way, I specialize in destroyers and cruisers and advanced propulsion jamming. For you, it will be different. Depends on what you need. You want to add chips so that you can have max skill points and adjust as meta adjusts. Also, duo. I know expensive, but big kills, big money, pay for yourself. Now, for the miners. I don't know what accent that was, just let it happen. How y'all doing today? I'm Rocco. I'm the uh, foreman, if you will. I'm a big fan of munching rocks and turn them into big shiny ships. Unfortunately, most of those big shiny ships get blown up by Brandon. So, yeah. I specialize my skills in uh, the mining, the industrial production, and uh, some of the invention principles that he needs to make them blueprints. Since you are going to want to eventually progress to more and more advanced miners, I would go ahead and get the basic and the advanced skill chips. I don't think you need the expert, but once you get those, you should be good to go. You can usually get away with basic Omega. That will give you enough to get up to Tech 7, which is where I think you should respect into getting the retrievers and the strip miners as opposed to just the regular miners. And then from there, you should be able to uh, build whatever you need and get whatever you need you know, until you get the big, big ships. Now, the one caveat here is that you are going to need to be able to be at the tech level of the ship that you want to build. So it might behoove you to get up a little bit higher before you drop that Omega down. But either way, that's your call and that's something you need to determine. Now we got to deal with that Karen woman. Oh, hi. Guess it's my turn. I'm Karen and um, I'm, I guess what you call a space Karen or a Karen cam. All I'm really here to do is to spy on the neighbors. So you can like park me in a system or whatever you need. And then um, as they come through, you can just watch me watch them. And then you know what's going on. Now, because of that, you like clearly don't need uh, any skills. I can be pretty much a day one and do exactly what you need me to do. So like don't buy any chips or like even probably Omega. You don't even need that. I just have to be able to go fly around in my pod and, you know, call the call the manager basically. So, hey, hey Brandon, are 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 you the manager? Do I call you? All right, so now that you've sat through my terrible impressions and accents, 
Let me know down in the comments below what your uh, preferred alt is or if you have multiple, which ones you're typically using. One other thing that I probably should mention here, I've been jokingly referring to all of these different alts and characters. You can mix and match however you want. For example, on that trade alt, uh, you may actually give them some of the invention or manufacturing skills because once you hit that 554 of accounting, you may not necessarily need anything else. Uh, or you may not have anything else for them to do, and you may just be wanting to accrue skill points in something else. Now, all of this being said, I am going to actually be respecking a little bit, um, and I think I'm going to talk about that in the next video. So um, stay tuned on that. One of these guys or girl will be going away. So uh, who's on the chopping block? Let's find out. But either way, thanks so much for joining. As always, if you enjoyed this and found it helpful, do me a favor and just give me a little like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And until next week, fly safe.